Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. How are you guys doing? Today I am on the side of a road. Newsflash. I kept waking up last night to the sound of vehicles just like roaring past. And I know I shouldn't have probably stayed here, but I did. Was it a good decision? No. I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm gonna go down to the beach this morning. There's a wonderful little, little plage just lava. I went last night just for a little bit, but there were people playing volleyball. So I came back to my van, burnt my dinner. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, the sun is out this morning it's been very cloudy and um i i want to go to the beach so let's go it's gonna be cute it's gonna be fun i did buy a cooler box but i don't have anything to cool in it but it's really aesthetic and i really want you to see it cooler box it's actually pink you can't really see it because of the light but I'm just, and it also contains Raffaello's, just to make the aesthetic even better. I bought it and now I have nowhere to put it. But it looks cute, right? Same as my chandelier, everything looks cute, so we put up with it. I haven't broken my chandelier yet, but yesterday I did. Maybe start driving without taking it down. And let's say that it was dramatic. It was, it was swinging in the right. <laughs> I literally looked behind. I looked through the little gap. I was like, what the hell is making that noise? Did a quick, did a quick head flip. Oh, holy fuck, it's just swinging around. Oh God. Oh no. Oh shit. Wait, okay, wait. Let me just, let me just, let me just get that. Fuck, I look at this. It was so funny, it was so funny. Anyway, um, let's go to the beach. It's getting warm in here in the van. It's really stuffy right now, which is brilliant. South of France and it is cloudy. Why? We're gonna have a great morning still, so today we start with dance. The sun is finally out. It's taken a while. Gigi's rolled in everything that there is to roll in and eaten everything that can be eaten on a beach. And now I don't know what to do, where to go, what to see. I'm just enjoying hanging around here at the moment. Truly, I just am. I don't want to leave here. It's a great place, you know. There's another parking spot I was thinking of going to. It looked kind of peaceful. Cause I think staying by the road's gonna get a bit much after about the next few hours, so I think we should go there. Um, yes, it's a stick. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I think we'll go to that spot next. I think it'll be fun. Well, let's just relax here for a bit and then do something else. Welcome. Fuck! <laughs> oh my god, why? 
Okay, let's go to somewhere that's not by a road because I'm done with this road. Done with it. I just, I hate, oh, I hate being on roads so much. It's just got so stressful. There are... Right, I swear to God, what is happening? <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this to me? Alrighty. Let's find somewhere. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, there is a bin. This is why I love coming to McDonald's. There's always a bin. Bye, bye. It's moments like this where I just like to sit back and think in the McDonald's car park. So inspiring. Lovely. Great time. I am ready. Let's go. That was so, I had such a peaceful time here. There's loads of like horse trailers around. So yeah, I pretty much want to buy a horse box and live in it because it looks fun and I'd have plenty of place for my clothes to stay in. Shut up. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> There's a horse coming out the back. That is so funny. Honestly, don't know why I find that so funny. Literally looking straight out the back of the thing. It's like, mm. it must be like, well, what's in them? Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, it's so funny. <laughs> It looks really good. I'm a bit scared because I'm kind of parked facing directly downwards and like if the brakes cut out, like we're done. Oh, great. <laughs> Shit, I can't lift that. Okay, we're gonna have to go for a small one. Ew, what the hell is on that? Oh my God, there's a, there's a spider nest. That's really disturbing. Just in case. <laughs> make a matcha okay i don't know if i'm gonna be able to heat the water to 80 degrees the precise temperature what the hell was that oh no oh my god my van is falling apart everything's breaking all of a sudden oh no jemima i don't know what to do with that damn everything's breaking my door handle my kettle what is happening i have the whole matcha kit i made sure to buy it there's a name for all of this and i don't know what it is there's a specific name so we're gonna pretend that i just said all the names mm -mm -mm. and then we're gonna make one okay oh lads i'm so ex i'm so excited i get to use my little my little jug this is like very excessive washing up for the van which is why I haven't even attempted to make this yet. I'm using hemp milk. Not entirely sure why. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Right, I need a video to help me with this because I don't think I'm gonna do it right. Who has the time for this? I might just stick to coffee at this point. This is so damn complicated. Oh shit. I've just been... That pan has just been heating there is nothing in it why am i like this oh my god are you ready are you ready are you ready don't do that at home 
Okay. Okay, we kind of cooled it. Right, this cost me about 30 or 40 euros for just this much matcha powder. And they say to use two to four scoops of it. That means there's about three drinks in the entire thing. This better be worth it. Doesn't smell like it's gonna be worth it. I'm not, I'm not lying, but let's try it. Okay, one, two. We're going minimal, safer that way. My opposite approach to normal. Okay, 80 degrees. This is probably 80 degrees. Am I doing this right? It's green. It smells like grass. Right, I wanted to use my cute little jug, but the thought of washing it up kind of makes me want to cry. So we're going to go straight for the matcha van life edition we have to do it in the pan okay mixer i'm so excited to use this oh shit okay i should definitely be doing that in the jug okay my other camera just died so i don't know i don't know if we got the matcha pouring which kind of sucks but we're just gonna have to roll with it anyway this is just the matcha and the milk i feel like i'm gonna need a lot of this it's maple syrup okay let's blend oh shit no it's a better way to do it Okay, it's time. <sighs> Tastes like grass. Tastes like grass. Why? Why does it taste like this? Who likes this? I'm not gonna lie, I really had high hopes for that. Literally spent a hundred euros on the whole shebang. That is disgusting. What have I done? Why have I done it wrong? Have I made it wrong? Okay, let's try. Let's put like vanilla on it. Will that help, or is that just gonna make everything worse? I feel like it's just fifty percent syrup now. So maybe it's the hemp milk. Nah, it's definitely the matcha. Taste test two. I don't really want to taste it again. I'm not gonna lie. That's just fucking grim. No. No. I'm actually really sad about that. I was thinking about all the mornings I was gonna wake up, make my ceremonial grade matcha, have a beautiful morning routine with it. It was gonna be my new thing. I am heartbroken and traumatized. I don't recommend ever trying matcha. Don't really know what to do now. It's going to wallow in my own despair and disappointment but look at that view of sea and trees okay we're gonna pretend that went really well and i love it and now i'm just sitting looking out of the view holding my matcha mm. my pillow just dropped out the back I'm not gonna lie, she smells so bad from the beach. No! Ew, you smell bad. I upgraded to a pan or downgraded, whichever way you wanna look at it, but this time it's not getting spilled on my veg. That's not happening. Not today, no. It's kind of weird because there aren't really any lights. But it's so damn peaceful. I can still hear all the birds chirping away and that is therapeutic as fuck. Sometimes in the van, I just feel so out of life. Like I'm just looking out here right now. Just like this is amazing and I love it. But I can't help but think sometimes that I'm not progressing the world in any way. Like I'm not in the scene, in the moment. I'm just sitting in a van, <laughs> eating a soup out of a pan that's too hot. Motherfucker.
tongue has gone. Oh my god. I can't feel my entire tongue. Can't feel my entire tongue. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever burnt my tongue this badly. <laughs> it's not good. I feel like I've got a burnt S shape on my tongue. It just it just stings. But like when my back doors are open, I feel a bit vulnerable as well. It's like You know what I mean? This tongue is on fire. This tongue is on fire. Yeah. Can hear all the animals outside though. It's really nice. You can hear all the chirping and there's still loads of birds about even though it's midnight. So <laughs> night. Last night, before I went to sleep, and actually whilst I was asleep, I was laying here and I was like, if my brakes were to just fail all of a sudden, I would simply just back off the edge of the cliff. And this briefly preoccupied my mind. And then I thought I could just move my van sideways, so you know, removing the risk of me falling to my death. But no. I just kind of laid there and was like, Doris Day, what will be, will be. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so comfortable in my van now. Like after a year, over a year and a half of van life, full-time van life, you just develop this stupid fearlessness. This, you feel so comfortable because it's like, this is my house, right? And, and so you're like, ah, I'm safe in my house. It doesn't matter where my house is parked. You know, I'm safe in it. Bro. Like I was really scared. Like I like I was getting anxious about this whole situation. I was like, I'm just gonna go straight off the cliff. And then I was like, eh, I'm pretty sure I won't. And that was all the convincing I needed to have a great night's sleep. Oh anyway, enjoy a moment of peace with me. so peaceful it's so peaceful here i don't ever want to leave i just want to sit there the sense of peace is just incredible i've like zoned out i've got into like a zen state internally so i'm just I'm just gonna stay here for a while <laughs> it's very nice but yeah thanks so much for watching i love you i hope you have a great week bye